Julius Ibrahim has taken to her social page to speak on racism and colorism. In a post she shared on her Instagram page, she says being referred to as a half caste is the most derogatory term to describe a person of mixed race or mixed ex ethnicity. Her message read in part, and I quote, I had a, con a random conversation the other day with someone and it was appalling when he mentioned passively to me that he doesn't see me as a black woman. He argued, you're not black enough, your skin isn't dark enough, your hair not kinky enough, and thus, my siblings and I do not count as black. End of quote. She went on to encourage that we teach and train our children to grow up and um, accept people for who they are and not by the color of their skin. Mm. End spot of quote. On. Spot on. What she said was spot on, but I also wanted to be considerate and understanding to see why people would say that um, you're not black enough. You're not. Yes, a nationality is Ghan is um, Ghana, right? She's Ghanaian, and because um, her dad is Ghanaian, and I think her mom, I can't remember. Liberian what, born, yeah, like, Ghanaian. Yeah, she has. Her mom know. is from Liberia, but She's her mom mixed. is also mixed race as well, or something similar to that. So um, it's okay for people to say you're not black, and it's not okay, but understand when they <laughs> say it. Not, why I'm saying it's not okay is because. Um, Already, your nationality shows that you're African and you're pure African. So people should respect that and love you for who you are and take you as part of them. But that doesn't mean we should be blind to the fact that the fairer you are, the more privileges you have, the better treatment you get. I was saying it the other day when we we're talking about the Black Lives Matter stuff. And I was like, if a Chris Brown is driving down the streets of America, you will probably not get pulled over by the cops like a Gucci Mane. Or a two chains who is dark skin and is in a very expensive car with chains on, gold chains, diamonds, and I all that. Gucci chain that it is. You get they will probably get pulled over, but a Chris Brown will probably be allowed to slide because he had is is mixed as well. You understand, and he's light skinned so we shouldn't take away that privilege. So I think most of those people should be grateful. Should they should be grateful that? So they, should I be grateful as well? You are yellow. You are not. What is yellow? Here? Why did you just do that? What what in the world? Okay. Um, right now, this is what. But, those... but you should be grateful as well because ah. if we really want to face it in in a world where we know colorism is still very predominant, mm. um, a light skinned lady as yourself may get a fairer treatment than mm. a dark skinned lady. But it shouldn't be so. I don't think I'm being treated fairly. I had I had, anyway. I had a conversation here, with though? with a very very close friend of ours, and. Um, I made a joke because I was in a car, we were going home and I was, and somebody was like, ah, you guys are acting like daddy and mommy and that looks like your daughter at the back. And I was like, ah, daughter can't be that black. And she went off on me like, come on, man, that we're talking about colorism here. Do you know it's statements like this that get keyed into people? We are too sensitive in this day. It's not about age. being sensitive. I, I got a point at the end of the day. Do you mm. understand? Because, can I come in? Yeah, you can. Okay. So, um, this is one of those topics that I wish and hope that if I is on this table, because I think she understands all this colorism and racism and blackism uh, movement better than I do. However, when I read the story and I saw the conversation, it did not sit well with me because um, the question now is what defines a black person is it by the skin or by the dna or by what you think is not as black as should be or as black or as white as should be that's, so is it a case of if you are not place. completely white you cannot be white so you have to become black there are so many things that comes into play here and i i i know even she was saying that she's not comfortable with being called a half caste but growing up i know things are changing and right now apparently things has changed because i i googled half caste and i saw in now the added offensive there. So it's more like an offensive statement to some people and evidently more in South Africa. I mean, when you use the word half caste, it's termed as derogatory. But here in Nigeria, half caste was not seen it as... like the intent, like, you know, my girlfriend... Do you understand girlfriend this girlfriend half, -caste? half caste? Like, it, it was something that kind of showed you to be a bit higher than others in 
which is, dad, which, which, all which that, is you know? the so, narrative we're trying to change. We want to change that, that one too. Yes, we have to because so I think it depends on where the you white are, person, where that's you are what from. But white we cannot supremacy. we cannot take away those that are in the middle and say it's either they identify with white or they identify with black. I think they should begin to understand first, like you said, their privileges and also understand that this is their skin color and they are not entirely black. A Juliet Ibrahim putting her side by side with Elupita Yongo. I mean, we know what that is, right? So, yes, there is an in-between, and it differs from country to country, from continent to continent. In Australia, if I was sending me something and saying, this is what a black person in Australia looks mm -hmm. like. So it depends on where you are and how you see it. So I think we need to step away from this insensitive attitude sometimes and just try to understand people's intention. So maybe when you sense that the intention is really to serve as a derogatory term, then you can begin to have these conversations. I'm not saying stop talking about it, but let's, let's just put some things into perspective and understand that like your skin color is actually different. I like the fact that they should pay attention to the context in which they are being referred to as mixed race. If it's being used in a day like... She, says, she said she's even fine with being called mistress. She doesn't want to be yeah, called but, half caste. Well, I don't think I'll call anybody a half caste either. Oh, I, think I have so, done it I, in my life before. Yeah, Maybe of course now, we've going done forward, it, yeah. I will try not to do. Of course, we've all done it. It's now insensitive. Of course, we've all done it, but I think the proper appropriate term is mixed race. Okay. So, um... At the end of the day, I think Juliet should just pay attention to what context in which it's used. Mm. Some people want to refer to it so that they can point out your privileges and let you know that, okay, this is why this is happening this way. Mm. But some people are saying it to make it look like, ah, you, you are not African, but you need to know what angle, what part of the world that person is tilting towards. Mm. Are you tilting towards the... Um, white side of you or are you tilting towards the black side of you yeah, no, if that person is tilting asking. to the black <clears throat> side then you need to refer to them as africans if that person is claiming i'm american then refer to them as americans we all Just, need to actually sit down and answer the question what makes a person an african or a black person the way maybe when we start answering that question to be easier to like break it down and not make people feel some type of way because we can't just say stop being insensitive anyway but there's something she said in her post which i'm going to take away which is just teach your children to appreciate people, people for who they are you don't have to be a certain type of way or look a certain type of way for me to treat you as a human being mm. or at least allow you have your basic human rights so that's the most important part whether you are Lupita Yongo Black or Juliet Ibrahim Black. That is not the point of conversation as far as I'm concerned. It's about teaching ev um, um, treating everyone equally because they are humans, not because they are black or white or in between or ambiguous. And be careful with your words as well when you're trying to refer to people that are not looking exactly like you mm. because you don't know what is offensive to them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the truth.